Hey guys, welcome back to Grace Posse Daily Devotion. Hope everybody's doing well. I know we've hit some really tough ground, but I think we're getting it, we're going to get into some good stuff, uh, some positive stuff. I, I think all of this is, is really some real good stuff, some real positive stuff, and I hope it's it's uh, affecting you guys in, in a positive way. Um, today we're going to be we're going to be talking about worship away. Your problem, and, and a lot of a lot of the times, this is this is the way we should deal with spiritual warfare. This is the way we should deal with uh, battles when when we face tough times against the, the onslaught of the enemy. And uh, a lot of times, we see things and, and we think that it's coming from a physical standpoint, but it's an enemy that wants to take each one of us out. And so we can worship our way through that these problems. Our uh, verse is from Mark chapter 5, verse 6. And it says, When he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him. This man with an unclean spirit saw Jesus from afar off, and his response was to worship him. I want you to note that this man didn't get delivered first. He then worshipped Jesus. He worshiped Jesus and then was delivered by Jesus. Some men today aren't delivered from the oppression they are experiencing from the devil because they haven't learned how to worship away their problems. Even the enemy has to bow down and acknowledge to, that Jesus is Lord of all. The Bible tells us that every knee will bow to him of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Philippians 2, 10 and 11. Every system, every government, every society must bow to the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Every hex, every curse, every evil work must bow to the name of Jesus. That includes every satanic power and generational curse. No weapon formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise up against thee in judgment shall thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and the righteousness is of me, says the Lord, Isaiah fifty four seventeen. Your childhood hurts. Your painful memories your addiction, your sinful past must bow to the name of Jesus. You must condemn anything that rises in you to destroy you and your ministry, your lust, your anger, your hate, your bitterness, your rebellious spirit, your job quitting, church hopping spirit, and say to it, bow to the name of Jesus. Bow in worship. When this man began to worship Jesus, the, the demons in him cried out, What have, you, have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of the Most High God? I adjure you by God that thou torment me not. Mark 5, 7. The fact is, demons have nothing to do with Jesus. They have nothing in common with him in association with him or no alliance with him and Jesus has nothing to do with them except to cast them out the very presence of Jesus torments the demons if you are in or if you are in a truly anointed worship service demons scream out and flee from people who are calling out to the name of Jesus no one, nobody has to touch a person or pray a long prayer over a person with an unclean spirit. The very atmosphere of worship is a torment to demon powers. Worship is the key to your deliverance. Run today to Jesus and worship Him. This is a really, really good testament or a good uh, te uh, an analogy here we see in scripture is that the the thing is is that this man was tormented 
by, by demons and he, and he saw Jesus and he began to worship him and Jesus was able to, to deliver him. The thing is, is that the enemy wants to, to destroy you, wants to take you out. He wants to cause problems in your life. And when we can focus on Jesus, we can worship our way through our problems. Hope you guys have a great day. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your many blessings. We're thankful, Father, for the privilege of prayer and the power of your name and the power that we are given when we worship you. Lord, we love you. We need you. We stand in need of your touch. And we're thankful, Father, that we, we have access to you to be able to bring our problems and our fights to you because you will fight our battles. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. I'll see you next time.